Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back. And today, I am very, 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 very excited to show you guys the new farm stick joysticks uh, from Thrustmaster. So Thrustmaster generously sent me a set of these joysticks, uh, two of them, and uh, they wanted me to give a little review, kind of get my, get my opinion on them and how they feel and how they look and how they act. Uh, so I did a little unboxing video. Now, bear with me. This is the first time I've ever done an unboxing video. So um, it took me about 100 times to get the little spin at the beginning. That was the most exciting effect that you guys are going to see. So I really want you guys to take that in as we uh, as we go here. <laughs> so yeah, um, very simple setup. Uh, box, very simple. Uh, opening up, very simple. There's not a lot of contents in it. Came with a little booklet with the warranty information and all that kind of stuff. Other than that, simple plug and play joystick in a box. What more could you ask for, right? Easy peasy. Get to gaming. That's the idea. I don't want to spend two hours looking at the box. I want to get rolling and using these things. So yeah, uh, opened her on up and uh, yeah, first thing I noticed was the, the buttons. Oh my God, I'm so excited. There are so many buttons on this thing, just loaded with multiple different types of buttons. So me being uh, a joystick connoisseur after uh, playing with lots of these in gaming and playing with them on real life heavy equipment machines, the first thing I wanted to test and the first thing I wanted to check was the feel of the buttons. The farm stick, has awesome buttons the buttons on the top here are rubber so the 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 three or the sorry the six on the bottom are all rubber and they all have really good feedback like they have a nice gentle kind of click in there's not a it doesn't feel loose it doesn't feel really clicky or annoying it's a really nice little kind of a feedback tap when you push it in and it feels good so these will primarily be my grapple buttons and my rotate which get used the most and fantastic feeling on them. Really, really, really happy with that. Um, the top buttons up top are the toggle switches. These are just little plastic guys, but they have a really nice click to them. They're not, they don't feel loose. They don't feel kind of jittery or anything. Everything feels very, um, very tight. Like it's a, a, a good feel, a good snapback and good feedback to it. Um, at the very top, you have like a little scroll wheel. Um, honestly, I still don't even know what I'm gonna use like, I have ideas of what I'm going to do with these buttons, but there's so many options on the buttons, I don't really have a plan exactly. I'm just going to go bare basics until I, I kind of play with it a little bit longer and figure out exactly what I want for controls. So they got that little scroll wheel on the top, so I'm going to get creative with that. You also have that analog um, toggle button on top that uh, that kind of you can you can move it around like a joystick on top. So that, I think, is going to create some creative things. Um, I think for some people, the looking around your cab, that'll be really convenient for that, especially while you're loading or something, to be able to look left and right um, by just using that toggle to straighten you out. It also clicks in on the top, so that toggle joystick, you can push it in, so you can maybe use that to reset your camera while you're looking around, you could dead center it, that kind of stuff. On the very backhand side, there are two uh, smaller buttons, like for your triggers. Now, this is the one area that I kind of have a little bit of a grief with. So I love the buttons, but unfortunately the top button, at least while I was setting up the controls, um, I was not able to map the top button in the game. So what I'm told from other people is that this is a mode switcher so that you can actually create a second set of buttons. Now, I have not been able to get that figured out yet. I haven't played around with it enough to do the modes, but my one grief with that is I do really want to have both of those buttons mappable. Um, I know it's set as a toggle key, um, but I don't want it as that. I want it as a mappable button. Um, and the reason I want that is I want it for replacing my two joystick buttons that I had on my old Thrustmasters. Um, I used to have those additional pieces that I added on for my uh, for my processor. So I was hoping that these two triggers would solve that problem. Um, unfortunately, I, it's not mappable. So I downloaded the Target software, which is the Thrustmaster software for their joysticks. And I think you might be able to do it in there, but unfortunately the profile at the time of me reviewing this is not available yet because the product's not really out to the public yet. Um, so it's possible that that's something they'll add. Um, Thrustmaster, if you guys are listening, I really, really, really will hope that you let me set that top joystick uh, trigger 
as a mappable button because having your extra trigger is is huge for logging especially for our game so i hope that's something that's um mappable because i would really 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 like that so anyway buttons feel good joystick movement feels good the twist is good um the sticks are not too tense but they're also not too loose so when you're moving them around they have a really nice feedback almost e almost equal to a real machine the install of the joysticks for me was super simple so if you have the mounts uh, like the ones i recommend on my website or if you have other mounts uh, for joysticks and you have them set up for your current thrustmasters these literally are exactly the same bottom part for the body so all you gotta do is pull the screws pop these in and it's good to go another usb cord that's it like it took me literally less than five minutes to unscrew and screw these in replace the old ones like it never even happened so i was really excited about that because i had concerns maybe they'd move the the placement of the screws and i'd have to redo my my joystick mounts but nope literally exactly the same unplug plug in boom simple having a tiny segue to my old joysticks because rest in peace old joysticks they're still going strong absolute monsters now, I gotta give it to Thrustmaster for those joysticks because I had them for over four years, my set of Thrustmasters, exact same pair, um, and they're golden, they're bulletproof. I literally drilled holes in them through the plastic into my old chair to keep them from moving around before I got all fancy and bought mounts and stuff. And I, I drilled holes directly through them, I taped them together, I duct taped them, I, I broke parts of them off by accident. I, 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 uh, I attached those secondary buttons and I duct taped them on and I screwed screws directly through it. I added uh, that that green <laughs> wrapping on them uh, just to hold them on there. Absolute Frankensteins by the time they're done. Like these things are Frankenstein joysticks. So now the actual control setup, the video that I have out for how to set up your controls is 100% accurate still for the cat controls set up, you know, the way the joysticks move and shape and da, 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 all that fun stuff to real life. So you can use that old video to set the new ones up exactly the same, but with all the new buttons, you can set the button uh, buttons up for whatever you want. You know, your extra grapple buttons, close buttons, rotate buttons, anything you want, just, just keep changing it till you're happy. But for setting these up myself, uh, it was easy. There was no problems, no hiccups. I just fired up the game set the controls, did the walkthrough, click, 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 just like my how to install or how to set up the joysticks video, exactly the same, started the game and poof, magically they were just, they were just working. It was great. So once we actually started playing, when I'm operating and, and using the grapple, um, just that rubber, rubber feel of the buttons. It lets your fingers grip on them better. Even if your fingers get a little bit sweaty while you're operating, you can grip them a lot better, slide on them a lot better. It, they just have a really nice response. It's, it's almost like a real life machine. So when I'm pushing those rubber buttons in, it feels like you're really engaging a hydraulic button, like, or, or even electric button, just something, there's a lot more push to it. So it feels like you're actually doing something. Um, as opposed to my older ones where the plastic buttons, they felt okay, but not compared to these ones. It's a huge upgrade. Um, all the buttons, the same with the triggers, feel really good. They've got a nice gentle click to them. And nothing, again, nothing feels cheap. It feels really, really good quality. I personally feel like they made these for us loggers because it is so nice for logging. Like I said, when you switch to the joysticks, it feels different, but it's a good different. It's like a really positive different. And when I first started up, I felt like I was kind of a new operator for a second. Cause I'm like, oh, ooh, this feels really weird. Like grabbing the logs. Like, as you can see in the video, it just, it, it felt a little weird, but maybe two minutes into operating, it felt so natural and so smooth on those joysticks. I was just like, oh, but now I just have more buttons and it feels better. <laughs> <laughs> so overall, so far, my experience has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'm super stoked to get these worked in. I want to abuse them and, and use them and try to figure out the buttons and what works best for all the different machines. Um, and if you guys buy sets of them, I, I think you, I, I know you won't be upset about it. If you're on the verge of about to buy new joysticks and you haven't upgraded yet, absolutely buy these. And if you have a bunch of extra money and you really want a new set, Go auction off your T16,000Ms and upgrade to the farm sticks because they're they're pretty awesome. And as I go on in time here, I'm you guys will hear me on the logging crew or on episodes 
of whatever uh talking about these joysticks and the feel of them but absolutely blown away um yeah you guys you guys are gonna love it so again thank you to thrustmaster for sending me this set um to review and check out and and give my thoughts on uh absolutely no other than that one trigger button which i think will be solved with some software changes I, I, there's nothing of concern to me on this at all. It has been an absolute brilliant joystick and I've been waiting for this for years. Absolutely excited to abuse it and use it. So I hope you guys are able to get your own versions of it to try out for yourselves. But if you have any questions or anything about it, leave them in the comments and uh, we'll get back to you. But yeah, thanks. We'll see you on the next one.